Shalom, shalom, shalom. So yesterday, I, I hope everyone is well. I came on and was talking about how I don't believe that the Bible is a religious book. And I didn't intend to make any um, reference to religion itself. But after thinking about it, I said, well, I should have. I should have said how I believe that re religions are so dangerous. And so I decided to write some points. But anyway, this morning I got into some conversations with a person who practiced a certain religion. And this is what he, when I asked him, I said, but aren't you a Christian? So this was his response. Yes, but we don't follow their practices. He's talking about the organization that he's in. They call themselves Christians, but we don't practice... We don't follow their practices of idolatry, cross worship, and many other things like pagan holidays and celebrations. That is why we are excluded from the so-called churches, Christian church. Jesus said there would be a great apostasy. We only follow the laws of Christ, not Christensen, the world empire, false religion, the great harlot. Time will show us her fruits are in her children that love the system of things many follow her traditions but we don't so i said to him you sound like the seventh day advantage adventist you call yourself a christian but decided what aspect of religion you will follow you know because the seventh day adventist said that to me they keep the sabbath but some of them don't observe christmas and easter and so the person who told me that she was saying how they are a little higher than the other Seventh-day Adventist persons because they more follow the scripture in terms of what they observe in the holidays. And so I said to him too, I said, that's really interesting. Like I said to her, I said, you're under the same umbrella as Christianity, but you are deciding that we don't follow this and we don't observe this, but you're still a Christian. And that is to me one of the dangers of religion. If you know anything about religion, that is how they start it. He made reference here to the great whore. That's who the scripture speaks about in Revelation 17 and 18. Who, out of the great whore, which is believed to be the Roman Catholic Church, which started religion in Constantine. And you can research that. And out of her came all the other religions. Because, well, they may not have agreed with, like, the Seventh-day Adventists keeping the seventh they felt, the seven Adventists felt they should be keeping the Sabbath. The Anglicans felt that they should get married. And then you have the Church of God and then you have the Baptists. Everybody came out, the Methodists, because they believe a different acts, um, um, scripture. Their religion started from the Bible, where they took different sections of the Bible and started their religion. And that's what most religions did. They use the Bible to start their religion. And so out of Christianity comes all these other religions. That's why the scripture said the mother of harlots. So he's saying, we are, I am a Christian, but we don't practice those. So we're not the same as them. And to me, that don't make sense. You know, that don't make sense. Years ago, when I was on the street as a young teenage Christian, the man who used to tell teach us lessons, we call it. And when he saw me on the street, he said to me very angrily, you're all Christians. You're all Catholics. You all came of the Catholic Church. And then I didn't understand what that meant. But now I do because all religions came out of the Catholic Church. I believe the Father's calling us out of religion. I believe that religion is what separates many people from having a relationship with the Father. Because religion gives you their version of who he is. They decide what is great and what is small. They decide what you should and shouldn't do it according to them, not according to the scripture. You know? And so that's why for me, I when I was in Christianity, I stopped from 2001 calling myself a Christian because after reading the scriptures, I saw where it wasn't lining up. Of course, I didn't know what to do, where to go, so I continued to go to the church to a Sunday service. But if someone asked me if I was a Christian, I used to tell them, no, I'm not a Christian. I have a relationship with the Father. That is what I said. And that is my encouragement to you. Research these religions. If you want to be a part of a religion, that's your choice. 
but make sure it's lining up with the scripture if you say that you love the most high and you are following after him whatever you are doing make sure it lines up with the scripture you see and that's why i disassociated myself and like i mentioned to the person today you have homosexuals that are getting married two men call themselves first lady and second lady they're married and they run in a church and christianity the churches the christians are not speaking about that but they would say oh but i don't agree with that but i'm still a christian you're still under the same banner why are you under the same banner what is such a big deal of being named a christian you know i said if someone asks me oh you're not concerned that you you are not a christian that you are not um part of something why do i have to be a part of something i follow the most high i follow the scripture when Yeshua left, he didn't leave any religion, regardless of how they tried to say Christianity is in the Bible and the original text, it was not so. And history said, showed that Christianity started after Yeshua um, left. And when it started, many persons lost their lives because they were killing people to make people follow it. Many persons who were keeping the seven-day Sabbath according to Scripture died because they were trying to force them to keep um, Sunday, Sunday worship. And so many persons get turned off from serving the most high because of the religion because that's their first image or first impression of the most high and they blame the father for what is going on in these different religions and and the christian church i think it's unfair to the father and that's why for me i am encouraging persons to have a relationship with him read your scripture whatever you do if you choose to practice christianity or whatever else make sure what you're doing line up and if it doesn't line up then disassociate yourself there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with saying i am not labeled i believe i tell people i i i am a relationship with the father yes i believe that we are the natural israel i don't believe that it's a religion persons may be out there trying to start a religion from it i'm not going to be a part of that i made that clear i follow the scripture I love the Father. I believe the, the Yeshua left the Ruah Akadesh, the Holy Spirit, to lead and guide me into all truth. I believe that's all I need. And that's what I encourage people. Have a relationship with the Father. Seek Him for yourself. You don't have to be a part of religion. The Father said, come out of her. Come out of her. It's divisive. It caused division. You understand? It's controlling. Manipulative. You understand? And that's not of the Father. Because he doesn't control. He doesn't force. He invite. He wants to be in a relationship with you, but he's not going to force you. So, um, right here we have Christianity is the dominant religion. And look at what's going on. You know, they come out when they want to talk about homosexuality and gambling. But we have murdering, we have insects, incest, we have all kind of stuff. And there's no outcry against that. So they decide what is big and what is small. You know? The Father called us out of sin. He asked us to repent of sin. All sin. So, to me, religion is very dangerous. It is not something you need to be a part of. But if you choose, make sure what you're doing line up with the scripture. I believe the Father is calling us out of religion. Because of the, the, the how it's dividing. It divides the people. And... It gives you the wrong impression of who the Father is. So my encouragement to you today is to come out of her. Come out of her, my people. Seek the Father. Read the scripture for yourself. He said, you will find me when you search for me with all your heart. You don't need to be a part of no organization to do that. So I encourage you today. Be blessed. May Yahweh bless you. May he lead you. May you listen to his voice and follow his voice. Because he said, my sheep know my voice, and a stranger they will not follow. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom.